Welcome to my garden railway test facility, under the deck and out of the elements. I've been dissatisfied with the performance of my old steam raising suction fan. It was built to help raise steam in my small De Wintons, and has been pressed into service for all subsequent live steam locos. It's a bit weak for the quarry Hunslet, but was even worse on the Aster Baldwin. A few years ago on Facebook I saw a PC fan used for the purpose, and decided to follow that route. Over the years I have salvaged a few fans from the electronics scrap bin. Here's my version. First thing I needed to do was to skim out the bore of the chimney to easily pass a length of 9 sixteenths KNS tubing for the fan adapter. The chimney is made from welded steel tube. There was a welding ridge that needed removing. Here's the body, a boiled sweets tin, with a 57mm diameter cutout for the 60mm fan. It was a mission cutting it out. I marked it out with dividers, drilled it, used the piercing saw with 80 TPI blade, then dremeled it with my Ryobi to the scribed line. The fan was then lined up, clamped in place, then the four holes were drilled through for M3 screws. The adapter plate for the 9 16th inlet tube. A nice bit of turning and boring from a scrap of 1.2mm brass sheet. Silver braised together. I'm just cooling it off before it's bathed in the citric acid bath. I've just faced the tube off to one half inch length to match the chimney bore depth. Three holes marked out and centre punched 30mm PCD, using my 1980 Zeus book for coordinates. The holes were drilled and tapped for 8BA screws. I've just drilled a 6mm hole for the rubber grommet to protect the wires. I gently work my way up to the 6mm using many incrementally larger drills. The tin's only about 10 thou thick. A test to see the suction. That looks good. There's an LED on the eBay speed controller. A quickly revised layout with the fan mounted externally for protection from the heat. The fan is 12 volts. I already had four AAA rechargeable batteries, the holder, the voltage step up module and the speed controller in my collection. I kept with the wires passing through the tin for aesthetic appeal. I've just started the steam up with the new suction fan. I can see it pulling nicely, I can see the smoke wafting up there, about three minutes into the lighting. You can hear popping from the firebox. It took seven minutes until there was enough steam for the blower. There we go. This is a full boiler, approx 300 mil. So it's, it's new fan arrangement, suction fan. It's twice as, as effective as the old one. The old fan took 15 minutes on the same water level. That's good. Let's stoke up this fire. Broken up charcoal briquettes. Barbecue briquettes. I keep turning down the blower. It's very powerful. There's no need to force the boiler or get the fire too hot. Next thing, warm up the cylinders. Look at that lovely lazy steam exiting the safety valve. It was a still and humid day. Everything's running nicely. I've changed the blast nozzle in the loco up to a 2mm diameter. Last time this loco ran it was 1.5mm. I thought it was a bit too aggressive. Blowing off when just ticking over. So I've changed to 2mm so 
Hopefully the loco can haul the train and not blow off too much. I was used to be getting quite a bit of fire ash in the firebox. Sorry, fire ash in the smoke box. So we'll see if the two mil quietens things down a bit. A good rule of thumb is for the blast, no blast nozzle to be a tenth the diameter of the cylinders. And these cylinders are about 20 mil diameter. Listen to this whistle. Lots of lovely steam. Pressure's just about right. Around 40. The weather's been awful. I haven't been able to go outside to have a run on the line. But at least it's, it's quite calm today. It's been a bit, bit, a bit it's been very windy and rainy, but it's calming down a bit. That's a good happy fire. Might just run it on these briquettes today. Time for some forward running. Water glass is full. Bit of a noise from the rolling road. Briquettes is a great fuel for loco. Clean burning. Lasts okay. I call it allowing for prototypical stoking. Rather than a fuel load lasting for minutes and minutes. This run was really just to test the suction fan. This is my prototype setup. I decided to move the fan on top of the tin box just to keep it a bit cooler. I've got a speed control there. I don't think I'll keep it. I think we're just going to keep it on full speed. And that's a, a voltage step up board because it's a 12 volt fan and I'm using a 4.8 volt battery pack AAA batteries I lit the charcoal pieces with a blowtorch don't think I'll use the coal just keep it on the barbecue briquette see it's still blowing off nicely and running with a 2 mil blast nozzle I suppose we should try and run it without the safety lifting all the time the economy and all that speeding right up. There's a few ways of decreasing the fire. Adding water is one of them. Opening the fire door. Yeah, the briquettes are definitely consumed faster, but it's, it's a great cheap and 
easily accessible fuel. It burns so clean. And you get some nice smoke effects after stoking. I ran that loco for months on this fuel. Can you see that? It's a real puffs of smoke. Don't get smoke like that with the coal. It smells good too, this fuel does, in burning. That's great when the, when the fire's down, you can get much more smoke and steam effects. I'm watching the smoke mingle with the steam. Plenty of water. That's grand smoke effects. Slowed right down. Thanks for watching. 